Hey, on the channel for the brand new WWE Mattel Elite WrestleMania wave, we've got Pat McAfee from WrestleMania 38. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! here and welcome back to the channel for another Wrestlemania Mattel Elite unboxing and review and today on the channel representing Wrestlemania 38 we've got Pat McAfee but for all your Pat McAfee needs and a whole lot more make sure you hit up ringside collectibles use discount code Kyle save yourself 10% gotta get a deal out there and of course we're gonna do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, let's see what old Pat McAfee is up to. Of course, WWE announcer for a little bit of time. Now just kind of a WWE personality that kind of pops in and out as he so pleases, I think. I think he's like, hey, I'm available. Can I be on the show? And they say, sure, yeah, come on down. Be a part of the show. We've seen him wrestling as well. We saw him against Adam Cole in that hot blood feud back in the day. Of course, Austin Theory at WrestleMania. With Stone Cold, Vince McMahon getting involved. Everybody was involved in that one. And Pat McAfee, of course, has a YouTube show. Isn't he on ESPN now? I don't really follow any of that kind of stuff. But I think he went on to a little bit more money is why he kind of left WWE. And he's got quite the brand behind him. It seems like everybody knows who Pat McAfee is. And he's one of those guys that really has transcended his uh, NFL career. Of course, he was an NFL player for the Colts, I do believe. But more people know him from his personality, radio show, YouTube show, than his uh, NFL career. And a lot like a young, a young Bob Euchre. Of course, Bob Euchre, Mr. Belvedere fame. Oh, shout out to Christopher Hewitt, Mr. Belvedere, all day long, Mr. Belvedere. Uh, but it's kind of like Bob Euchre, known for Mr. Belvedere, being an announcer, things like that, more than his actual career. So, long story short, is Pat McAfee a modern-day Bob Euchre? Who knows? I don't know. I'm just putting it out there. Just putting it out there. Uh, but there it is, old Pat McAfee, new packaging design. Of course, we know, smaller window box. There's old Nicholas peeking on down here. Of course, he's part of the Build-A-Figure wave. We will build him and rank the entire wave at the end of the week, so make sure you subscribe to the channel. Glamour shot of Pat McAfee over there. Get the little window at the top. Let the light in on the figure. we got to have that in there. Elite logo at the top. WWE logo at the top. WrestleMania 40 logo. Philadelphia, shout out. There it is. Pat McAfee, you got like a turn right in that corner there. He's like two heads of him just right there. That looks a little strange, but there he is a little bit bigger there. Pat McAfee, certified authentic. Mattel Elite playing all the hits over here. And then on the back, you got Nicholas, the Build-A-Figure with the instructions. You got the cross cell. We're unboxing all of them. You got the jibber. You got the jabber down at the bottom. Of course, you got the tail of the tape. You got the blurb. Let's see what it says about our old friend, Pat McAfee. From Plum, Pennsylvania, all beautiful this time of year. I'm sure they have like a Plum Festival or something. It writes itself. I'm sure they do. But shout out to anybody from Plum, PA. Uh, you're getting your due here today. Height, six foot one. I know a thing or two about being six foot one. Weight, 233 pounds. I'm not quite there. One time I was. I was up to 260 at one time in the height, the height of my lifting days. Now I'm around 215 on a good day. We'll see. 215. Uh, finisher. The old punk kick on brand right there. Pat McAfee lived out his lifelong dream at WrestleMania 38, first defeating Austin Theory, then going toe-to-toe -to -toe against Mr. McMahon before sharing a beverage with the stunner-happy Stone Cold Steve Austin. So shout-out on that one right there. But let's pull him out of the package, see what all the fuss is about here. And there's always fuss with Pat McAfee, isn't there? I think so. That's what I've been told. I've been told there's a lot of fuss these days. There's the packaging. See you later. Goodbye. All right, now we get down to business. We got the littlest torso and the littlest shirt down low. How about that? Looking good. Extra hands for Pat McAfee as well. Plastic prison. And I love this. No twist ties, anything like that. Bam, see you later. Goodbye. All right, pop that out. Get the old hands out. Oh, we're picking up business. There it goes. See you later. 
And I talked about it. We will build Nicholas later on this week. So stay tuned to that. You don't want to miss that video. Get his shirt. Get the torso. Going to stick those to the side for later. Of course, Pat McAfee coming with some accessories here. He has a soft goods shirt. He's got a necklace. But he's got two gripping hands. If he needs to grip a microphone, you never know what he might need here. He did come to fight, though. I'm very happy to say he's got two Fists of Fury right out of the package. So gripping hands, Fist of Fury. Choose your own hand adventure, as the old saying does go. But now we got old Pat McAfee. Hopefully he doesn't got any staining off this shirt. We're going to do that staining test. Uh, but it is just a cloth uh, shirt here. No staining. Don't see any issues there. It, not saying that in time it won't happen, but I don't have any t uh, staining right off the bat. Uh, so that's always a watch out with our wrestling figures. We do know that. But a very plain Jane black uh, kind of wife beater tank top, whatever you want to call it going on here. Looks good. Great for customizers out there. And I do get the chain here. We did get the chain with his basics. And I should mention, he had two different basics released prior. We will do some comparisons of those later in this video. So stay tuned for that. But a very plain Jane dude here. Black jeans here, a little tear at the knees. He probably fell down, skinned his knee, and then uh, got his jeans cut there. I'm sure that's exactly what happened. Always tough on the old playground back in the day when you take a spill and you rip your jeans. Oh, man, mom's going to kill me. Some people say it's a fashion statement these days, but not back in the day. Oh, not back in the day. Uh, but looking good. They gave Pat McAfee a pretty jacked physique here. But as I always say, I'm okay for that. I think you should be one step better than you look in person in action figure form. That's kind of always my general rule. And I think they did that here with Pat McAfee. So I'm for that all day. Articulation, same as most Mattel elites as we know. Arms do go all the way around. Very tight bicep cut. Double jointed pinless elbows here for that. Hand back forth, side to side. Head back forth, side to side, up and down. And then, of course, you get the ab crunch. A little bit loose in that ab crunch. Not terrible. I've seen worse. Waist articulation. Big old Pat McAfee splits if you do need them. You get the thigh cut. Double jointed pinless knees. Oh, my gosh. Could it get any tighter there? Super tight knees on him. Ankles back and forth, up and down. A lot more looseness in the ankles than I'm used to with these Mattel Elites on this one here. Uh, but very plain Jane. You get to the face. I think I would know this is Pat McAfee just from his time in WWE. I think I would know who this is. Somebody handed it to me. Uh, but not an iconic face like an Ultimate Warrior, Macho Man, Hulk Hogan, Rock, Roman Reigns, AJ Styles, Seth Rollins. Let's just run down the whole roster. You got Jey Uso, Jimmy Uso. You got a... No, I'll stop there. I'll stop there. We're not going to run it through everybody here. But I think the head looks good. I believe it's the reuse from the basic. We'll take a look at that here in a second. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code Kyle, save 10%. It's like he was made for this stand, really, at the end of the day, but fits perfectly on there. But yeah, it looks like Pat McAfee. I have no issues with this one. I got to think a lot of people will want this figure, and we got to always take that business step back. Of course, he's known from wrestling, but he's known a lot more outside of wrestling with his talk show, TV shows, uh, appearances, things like that. So this is one of those figures I could see people buying just to represent their favorite radio show on their office desk. So... This has a lot of crossover appeal, I would have to imagine. And who knows, there might be a lot of Nicholas torsos oh, flooding eBay because people selling them, they don't want anything to do with old Nicholas, but they want the Pat McAfee figure. I could definitely see that. And one thing else about this figure here, very plain Jane, this would be great for customizers out there. If you want to customize a figure of yourself, do something like that, this would be a kind of a figure you'd want to do that for. I don't know, you guys, depends what you look like and stuff, but head pops right off. I do have some Kyle heads always sticking around here. I might pop one of these on. Oh man, it looks just like me if I was when I was going through my Mr. T phase is what this looks like to me. Uh, but you could do something like that. If you got a head, a different head, you want to make a street tough for somebody, really is choose your own adventure at the end of the day. But you could definitely do some customizing with this one. Uh, there's no doubt about it. That Pat McAfee figure is going to be great for that. For all you customizers out there, a great base body to build on, get a different t-shirt, get different stuff going on. And all of a sudden, you got a whole new figure if you want to. So, pro tip out there a little bit. But, of course, we did get Pat McAfee in the basic line. We got a regular and chase edition. Similar but different. We didn't get the soft goods. We got a lot of similarities between these two. And it looks like the hair and the head is identical between these as well. Different color chain, but not a ton of different bells and whistles on this one. But three Pat McAfee figures in less than a year. Can you believe that? Truly, what a time to be alive is what we'll say on that one. And then we're not done with some comparisons. Might as well bring out Stone Cold Steve Austin from that same event. Of course, him and Pat shared a beer, and then there was stunners for all, and to all a good night is what ended up happening with that one there. But Pat McAfee, an interesting one. If you want to go back and build your SmackDown announce crew, you want to revisit that WrestleMania event, heck, you want to just put him at a table and pretend he's doing his YouTube show, 
you could do that as well. So a lot of things going for this Pat McAfee figure. Anytime WWE and Mattel, in this case, get some crossover events, hey, they're all for it. Anything that brings new dollars in, it's a good day at the office. It's about business at the end of the day. So there it is, Pat McAfee, WrestleMania Wave. What are your guys' thoughts? Pick up, pass, long game, no game, the not sure game? You let me know in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day. And of course, don't forget about Patreon for early access to all the videos from both YouTube channels. We got two YouTube channels going right now. Make sure you subscribe to both of those. And then, of course, don't forget about ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And social media, you can find me on the X at SirPaul64. Instagram threads, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So there it is, Pat McAfee, WrestleMania. I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.